OSHA says about 32 million employees work with at least one chemical danger every day. Employees who take this course will learn about the dangers or hazards related to different chemicals, how to find hazards in the workplace, proper ways to handle and store chemicals, and how to respond to chemical emergencies. This course is meant for all employees who work with or around hazardous chemicals. Chemical Hazard Communication Chemical hazard communication is an important part of keeping the workplace safe for workers. Chemical hazards can cause minor or major injuries or injuries that can lead to death if chemicals aren't used properly. Cleaning tasks in restaurants help protect customers from the foodborne sickness. Sadly, the chemicals meant to clean and sanitize can be harmful to the restaurant workers. Commonly used chemicals like chlorine, quaternary ammonia, and iodine can be extremely harmful to employees. These chemicals can cause skin redness, irritation, burns, and might cause skin to crack, which lets the chemicals enter the bloodstream. Hazardous chemicals can also enter a human body through breathing, which then damages the nose, throat, and lungs. Exposure to chemicals and irritants. Contact with hazardous chemicals can happen with cleaners for sinks, ovens, floors, stainless steel, etc., bleaches, dishwasher soap, degreasers, descalers. There are many steps restaurant managers can take to decrease the risk that can happen when employees are working with hazardous chemicals. Give training to employees about good housekeeping methods and chemical safety. Make sure employees wash their hands thoroughly before eating, drinking, or smoking. Give employees proper safety equipment like gloves, rubber aprons, and other personal protective equipment for free. Show your staff where to find the Material Safety Data Sheets MSDSs, and how to read and understand them. Give your staff first aid kits and training. Have an emergency response plan in place. To stop exposure to chemical hazards, ask your supervisor about any toxic and harmful effects of the chemicals you use. Make sure you are trained in the safe use, handling, storage, and disposal of chemicals. Read all labels on the container. Follow the manufacturer's instructions on usage. Use only products kept in clearly labeled containers. Work in a well-ventilated area. Use proper PPE. Know where to find material safety data sheets, MSDSs, for the chemicals you're using. MSDSs give you crucial information about toxicity, safe use, and first aid. Get proper first aid and medical help if you breathe in, swallow, or come in contact with a dangerous and toxic chemical. To handle chemicals safely, wear the personal protective equipment given to you and required by your employer. Use separate spoons, scoops, or cups instead of cooking utensils, food containers, or your hands to get rid of chemicals. Use a utensil made from material that won't affect the chemicals to distribute liquids and powders instead of using plastic spoons. Close chemical containers after use. To store chemicals safely, keep them in their proper containers with clear labels, not in food containers. Lock up chemical containers in a specific storage area marked with warning signs. Place chemicals on lower shelves below eye level, not on top of shelves where they could fall. Store protective equipment in a different place from chemicals. Employees can stop accidents and injuries from chemical hazards while working in restaurants by following these do's and don'ts. Do. Be informed and make sure you understand the hazards of the chemicals you work with. Know where MSDSs are located. Follow instructions in MSDSs whenever you use chemicals. Label secondary containers, such as spray bottles, with product name and hazard warnings. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment such as gloves, face shields, splash goggles, and respirators, etc. Don't. Use hazardous chemicals if a less hazardous one is available. Use chemicals until trained on the chemical hazards and how to protect yourself. Use chemicals in unlabeled containers. Mix incompatible chemicals. Use empty water bottles or food containers for chemicals. 
please take this training very seriously. Even one simple mistake can lead to a huge disaster. If you are ever in question, call 911 immediately.